everyone, this is John from Chaotic Commander, and we have a very cool game lined up for you guys tonight. So, the theme of tonight's game is spell slinging. We are going to be slinging mad spells at each other, um, and hopefully there'll be lots of fun interactions in this game. So, uh, I'm going to be playing my Lord of the Nazgul deck. This is um, one of the brews that, one of my first brews that I made, and it does focus a lot on casting a bunch of cheap spells and interaction to create a bunch of rates. Uh, so yeah, that's the game plan. Create a bunch of rates, protect them, disrupt everyone else's board, and hopefully do big nasty swings. But um, let's uh, introduce our first guest. We have Thea. Hi everyone. Uh, I am playing for my spell slinger. I'm playing Orvar the Allform. This is classic clone bar shenanigans, so expect to see th about this many copy tokens on the battlefield by the end of the game. And I'm super excited to be here, and I'm super excited to be slinging spells, which is like my favorite thing to do in the game. So, looking forward to it. All right, next up we have Brian, the Unskilled Commander. What's up everybody? Brian, the Unskilled Commander on YouTube. Please go check it out, maybe subscribe. I do uh, gameplay videos, deck techs, comedy skits, stuff like that. Uh, I made the channel so I can try and get better at magic and also to get uh, followers so that I can do uh, charity streams throughout the year. I did one in July. I'm going to be doing another one in, I did one in April. I'm going to be doing another one in July. So here on Twitch. So keep an eye out for that. I am playing, I mean, one of the two people playing Mizzix of the Igs Magnus. Uh, it's basically uh, get creatures out that do stuff whenever you cast an instant sorcery and then throw around a lot of instants and sorceries and hope all those creatures trigger and see oh. what happens. All right. Last and definitely not least, we have Chris. Hello. I am also running a, a Mizzix deck, but mine's a bit different. Mine's a, a little bit of poison, a little bit of burn, some X spells, and a whole lot of proliferate. And go from there. My, my record is uh, 35 experience counters in one game. Oh, shit. In that one game, I got to Jessica's will into an apex of power into a finale of Revelation for X equals 24. Nice. Oh, I love wow. it. I'll never have that good a game again. <laughs> All right. That, that is terrifying sounding. But... Um, it is charity month, so all of our games have interesting rules. Ori, sleeve card, my friend, game master, explain tonight's rules for the guests. What's going on, Planeswalkers? Tonight is a very special and simple rule. We've asked that all of you bring your most potent and powerful spell slingy decks because all of your instant sorceries will have demonstrates. So just to clarify, if you guys have not used it before, when you cast an instant or sorcery, you can choose to make a copy of that instant or sorcery, but if you do, a target opponent of your choice also gets a copy of said instant or sorcery. All right, everyone understand? Yep. This game is about to get crazy. We have- So crazy. We have already rolled to see who goes first and resolved mulligans. Chris got that nat 20. So take us away, friend. Yeah, why couldn't I ever do that in D&D? &D? <laughs> yeah, right? right. <laughs> Draw for turn. Island and pass. All right. Draw. Ooh, I will play a choked estuary for turn. I will reveal an island. Um, I guess, sir. We'll uh, tap it for a black. I'll vampiric tutor mm. right off the top. And then I will pass the turn. I will not demonstrate. Cool. I will start things off with a snow-covered island, and then I will tap for one. I'll play a soul ring, and I will go ahead and pass the turn. Draw off the turn, play a vivid crag. Crag comes in tapped with two charge counters on it, and I will pass. Draw for turn. Mountain as my land for turn. I'm lose my life. Tap two for a sprite dragon. It is a 1-1 one, one flying haste. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on sprite dragon. Let's see. I'm running a music deck. Kind of scared of the other music deck, but I'm more scared of Orvar. Uh, so why don't you, Thea? Yeah, rings get the dings. I figured as much. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. I will draw the card I tutored for. I will play this island as my land for turn. I'm going to tap this for black. I'm going to cast a dark ritual, and I will do demonstrate. And Brian, you can get three black mana. Cool, so I'll, thanks. I'll get six black, and then I'll tap a blue. Go in and get the Lord of the Nazgul out. Four, three flyer. 
Well then. And then I That's will thing. pass the turn. I get the feeling I should have run. What's that? I, yeah, I got six black mana from this and a blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm forgetting yeah, you're that. Good. You're good. You're good. Cool. Well, you just when I drop my turn, drop my I'm going to tap four. I'm going to start by casting an Augur of Bolas for two. If I look at the top three cards in my library, I can reveal an instant or sorcery uh, from among them and put that into my hand, and I will put the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. I'll reveal a Cerulean Wisps, and then with the other two floating, I will cast a Storm Chaser Drake. It's a 2-1 flyer. Whenever it becomes the target of a spell I control, I draw a card, and then I will pass the turn. Yes. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Pharos Lake, tap the Vivid Crag into the Pharos Lake to make a blue and a red to play Electrostatic Field. Zero four Defender. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, Electrostatic Field deals one damage to each opponent. Nice. And I will pass. Okay. Untap. I'll keep draw. Mountain has a land for turn. Tap two for a pair of Swifties, putting a plus one, plus one counter. And then, because I have nothing better to do with it, tap one and equip the. The Sprite Dragon and pass. Okay, one tap. I will rough turn. I'll play Snow Covered Island. I am going to send Lord of the Nazgul at the 4 3 in the air. All right, I will take four. Okay, and then I will pass the turn. I will play a Snow Covered Island and I will pass the turn. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I feel like there's going to be a lot of that going on. <laughs> uh, I will untap a deep draw. That's not going to help. So we're going to go ahead and play Is It Boiler Works tapped, bouncing the Vivid Crag back to my hand. And uh, we will pass. Okay, you tap, keep draw. Island has the land for turn. Go ahead and cast my commander and pass. All right, at your instep, I'm going to yep. tap three for a frantic search. And then I will let Brian, uh, I will demonstrate and let Brian search with me. Okay. So I'll get two rates, then um, we'll just resolve it at the same time. So draw two, discard two, discard and this. Untap up to three land. Let's go ahead and swap. Tap. Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing that. I'm just doing that. Just doing that. Two. Alright, those two. Oh. Which can't hang more? Okay, then I will untap and draw for turn. I'll play Barador as my land for turn. Let's see, who do I want? I will send 3 3 Wraith with Menace at Chris and one at Brian. So 3 3 Menace at both of you. Yep, I uh, will take three. Yeah, taking three. Cool. I will pass the turn there. Well, draw. I will play an Academy Ruins, and then I will tap four and attempt to cast my commander, Orvar the All Form. Yep, yeah, it resolves. I don't have a response. Cool. Um, I tapped out, no response. I will pass the turn after that. I saw four open mana from the guy that promised a lot of counter spells, and I was like a little bit. That's what made me have the Tata Spedge. Yeah, yeah. That yeah makes that's fair. Sense. Uh, maybe Craig comes in tapped again. I'm not getting any land. So let's see. If I tap this into I that, to... I can get a max of three. I tried to help. You did. I appreciate it. Uh, so I'm going to... Well, I guess we don't want to waste the mana. So we'll cast Unruly Catapult. Ooh. Zero four Defender. Tap it to deal one damage to each opponent. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, untap it. And I will pass. Okay. Oh. Untap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. Play a mountain as a land for turn. And I will go ahead and pay one. Move the Swifties over to Mystics. Um, in response. Damn it. I'm going to Infernal Grasp that. So okay. I'll in response to yeah. You. Okay. So. No response. I have a response to that. Okay. After you pay, you're, you pay the cost? Uh, yeah, I tap mana and I lost two life. Go for it. Okay. I'll tap four. For fuel for the cause. Counter target spell, then proliferate. Cast trigger gets an experience count. Oh, go okay. Ahead. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, 
cast trigger gets an experience counter. And that gets a 1-1. One, one. And then, did you have a response? It's not an artifact, is it? Your, it's what an artifact. Mizzix. Is it an artifact creature? It's not, right? No, it's a goblin wizard. A legendary uh, creature. Yeah. No, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted them. Okay, so that counters, and then I get another, and I get the proliferate trigger for the fuel for the cause. And my booties get attached. But that does end my turn. Um, give me, give me a one second here. Uh, that is not what I had planned for that turn at all. <laughs> you're welcome. I'll untap. I no. will drop a turn. Oh, interesting. Okay. Tap three for Nazgul. <coughs> ETBs, the ring tips me, and I get a plus one counter on all my rates. Oh, excuse me. Uh yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. So I have no man to respond to. What's wrong, with guys? I will make the Nazgul the ring bearer. So a bunch of four four menaces. Yeah, I'll get plus one plus one. I'll do that later. So I have a five four in the air. Two three death toucher on the ground. Yeah, I'll just send. How big is that dragon? It's a four four now. Yeah, just a four four. Okay, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll send a four four wraithy menace guy at each of you mm -hmm. so that's, that'll be it okay. um yeah i'll take four yep i took four yeah no blockers take four then um after that i'll pass the turn yon's okay. taking no prisoners yep Main sorry step. go ahead i'm gonna cast the cerulean wisps targeting the uh storm chaser drink so i make a copy of it uh and i draw two cards uh, one from Brilliant West and one from Storm Shaper Drake's ability. And then I will go to my turn. Let's see. I will play a Riptide Laboratory for my lands for turn. Um, then I will tap one blue and I'll cast a trait doctoring. Um, and I will target the tapped island. I will turn it into a forest. And that will trigger Orvar. So I'll make a copy of the island and then I will cipher straight doctoring onto my Storm Chaser Drake. Uh, so the way that Cypher works is that I can encode it on a creature, and whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player, its controller may cast a copy of the encoded card without paying its mana cost. And I am not going to be demonstrating any of these. Uh, Brian, you don't have any flyers, do you? Nope. I will swing a 2-1 Storm Chaser Drake at you. I refuse to take it on principle. But I took it. All right, on that successful deal or combat damage, trait doctoring will trigger. Um, I will target the soul ring, so I will make a copy of the soul ring, um, and then I will tap one, two, three. Uh, I will cast a Veilstone Amulet. So whenever I play a spell, creatures I control can't be the targets of spells or abilities my opponents control for that turn. Nice. Yep. And then after that, I will go ahead and pass the turn. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Hey, it's a land. I will play said land. Um, let's see. I will go ahead and tap one, two, three to play Forger's Foundry. It's an artifact that I can tap for blue. When you spend this mana to cast an instant or sorcery spell with mana value three or less, you may exile that spell instead of putting it into your owner's graveyard. And then I can pay five and tap the Foundry to cast any number of spells from cards exiled with Forger's Foundry without paying their mana cost. I will then tap two mana to cast Airborne Flamesmith. Two one. Whenever I cast an instant sorcery, it deals one damage to each opponent. And I will pass. And now, Chris, before you start your turn, do yes. all of you players have an infinite token or something you could doodle on? Um Yes. Right. So we're going to shake things up one more time. And you can now secretly vote without knowing what it is to either earn or burn. Oh, jeez. Time for a psychological thing. Is he going to call the right thing the bad name or is he going to make sense <laughs> of what it is? Give me too much credit. The world Does he know? I know, know that he knows that he's going to do it. Flip <laughs> I mean, I feel like burn is pretty self-explanatory, but that could just be me. Sure. Well, you well, we have ways I could lock it in. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Ways I can go. okay. It could be mana burn. It doesn't have to do physical damage. Yeah. It's yeah, I'm good if everyone else is. All right. 
I am. Go ahead and reveal. All right. I voted bird, baby. All right. All right. It's a tie. So for everyone that voted earn, you will now have a single use token that you can crack to force one of your opponents to demonstrate a spell on cast, choosing you as the target opponent that gets the copy. Ah, shit. For each of you that selected burn, you will also get a single use token. However, it'll be a copy of Vile Smasher ability. Except you can choose any spell. So if you see a spell that you would like to roll a dice and deal that CMC damage to a random opponent, feel free to crack it. Your spell, an opponent's spell, any spell. Interesting. I, I feel like I feel like this was a uh, burn was the wrong choice. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling that burn was the right choice because uh, you X is a copyable uh, attribute. It is. So well, that could be a yeah. pretty big burn spell. It could be, but it could also be a really crazy demonstrate. I'm just, I'm just I'm just saying I'm thinking the the force demonstrate is is really good. And with the right opportunity, yeah. Yeah. So uh, uncap, upkeep draw. Okay. That changes nothing really. I'll still tap four for a murmuring mystic. Ooh. Whenever I cast an instant of sorcery, I make a 1-1 one, one, uh, blue bird illusion creature token with flying. Nice. And I'll tap one with the cost reduction from Mizzix. Contentious plan. Cast trigger. Uh, contentious plan is proliferate and, and draw a card. Draw a card. Make a bird. Don't ask me to draw because it will not happen. <laughs> not even for charity. All right. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> I am that bad at drawing, so we'll just leave it at that. All right. All right. And that does put another trigger on my Sprite Dragon also. Um, I think actually I will put, I will demonstrate that, actually. Oh. You want to give it to me? Copy Can me. you give it to me, please? I haven't gotten anyone to demonstrate with me. I feel like that's a bad idea. I mean, you well, can fortune tell. I need to give it to John, too, by that logic. I need dragons. And... That's what I need. That's all I'm looking for. The thing is that I'm more scared of the top row than I am the other music player right now, which is not something I'd, I expected to feel. <laughs> um, so I think I'd like to demonstrate with Brian uh, if he would like to proliferate my stuff too. And I'll proliferate his. I believe that's a charge counter. He doesn't... I mean, that's, oh, I mean, that's really bad. Want, that's a bad deal. Stuff, that's fine. That's a really yeah. bad deal. You could get but a I'll, charge counter if you give me plus one plus one counters still, and another experience counter. Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing the whole... <laughs> I'll draw a card. You don't have to. I mean, I wasn't going to... Well, you can proliferate your own counter. I'll... Anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll still demonstrate with you. Okay. Thank you. I'll draw a card. I mean, if you wanted to wheel a deal, man, I was, I'd was, i be willing to, you know? I'm more scared of you than I am of Ryan right now. Mm -hmm. Why? You can block all my stuff. You've got flyers. You've got guys on the ground. Really? Not... Now, I have a question. Is demonstrate a cast trigger? Oh no. Yeah, uh, you're you, casting the yeah. spell. Yeah, you cast a copy of it. So. Okay. And then there was a red. Did you do yours already? Yeah, I did. Right? Okay. Proliferate. Draw a card. One card. Island has my land for turn. Thank you. Nice. That's what I wanted. I just want land, man. You got an army of Nazgul's or whatever they are, rates. You'd be fine. I have, I, have, I have three rates. It's not even that bad. Blasphemous well, act when? I'm just building an offensive wall here. I don't. <laughs> Don't do that. And I'll pass there. Alrighty. I'll untap. Drop for turn. Play land for turn. Um, and then. Sure, why not? I'll tap four for Merkwood Bats. Uh, but then after that, I will pass the turn. Cool. Untap. I feel like I might have started too strong. Just a little. Things yeah, are, think? Things are, yeah. things are slowing down quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, cool. All right. I will go to combat. I will swing a two on at you, Brian. You still don't have any flyers, yeah? Yep. Oh, I'm so... sorry. We were supposed to take one from your guy, right, Brian? Did you cast that copy? Oh, oh yes. I guess if I did cast it, yeah, that just to clarify, 
just to clarify on the rules, when you copy uh, ability or a spell, it is added to the stack, but it's not cast. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, copy copies are not cast. They're just copied and put straight into the stack. Okay, so I can demonstrate I wouldn't have got. Um, yeah. Correct. I wouldn't have got the cast. I wouldn't have got I'm the cast trigger for it, so. Yeah. So I'm going to trigger Trait Doctrine on the hit targeting the Storm Chaser Drake. Uh, and I will draw a card. Um, I will then go in my second main phase. I will tap one blue and one. And actually, I'm sorry, just one blue. I'll cast an energy tap targeting my Augur Bolas. So energy tap lets me tap down my Augur Bolas. Uh, and I add an amount of colorless mana equal to target creature's casting cost to my mana pool, so that's two colorless mana. And then Orgar will trigger. I will make a copy of Augur of Bolas. So I will search the... Do the Augur Bolas thing. Search the top three. It is a whiff. So those go on top. And I have two colorless floating. Um, I'll add one, two blue. Uh, I'll cast a clock spinning with buyback, targeting um, my snow-covered island. So that allow if that goes through, what it does is it allows me to have the effect buyback to my hand and also make a snow-covered island. Um, and then after that, I will go ahead and pass the turn. At your end step, I'm going to tap Unruly Catapult and deal one damage to each of you. Okay, down, down 31. And untap, upkeep, draw. I will play Temple of the False Gods, which is online. Another ancient tomb right there. One, two, three, four, five. I'll play Steel of the Guilt Pack. Uh, as it enters the battlefield, I'm going to choose blue and red. So each spell I cast costs one less to cast for each of those chosen colors. Oh, wow. And so then... That means I will tap a blue and a red to cast Mizzic. Nice. Um, nice. And I will go ahead and then tap Unruly Catapult and deal one damage to each of you. Very nice. Hey, I get to the game. <laughs> I will pass turn after that. Didn't want to leave it up as a blocker? Everyone's flying. What's the difference? <laughs> Most of my stuff's on the ground. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Mm. I thought they were flying. No, only the Nazgul and the bats are flying currently. I know. Uh, okay. Yeah, the wraiths are on the ground. They just have menace. Okay. Yeah, that's their invasion. If I can draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not the land I want. I will wait on that, then, actually. Do we want to kick this game up some? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, man, how many cards in hand do you have? I have four. Four. I have four. I have two. We just kind. We willing? <laughs> no, we're not willing. You don't. You're not losing. You're not losing. No one's losing their hand. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should demonstrate this spell or not. It's Jessica's will, probably. Otherwise, you wouldn't ask how many cards we have in our hand if it's a non-wheel effect. That's just my like suspicious hunch. Yeah, I mean, I can't do a whole lot with red mana, so probably a good bet. Oh, for Jessica's demonstrate. It's not. I have the card in the deck, but it's not that. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> well, then I will leave it to you, friend. Go for it. Show us what you've got. In the game. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, well, this will not end the game by any stretch, but it's going to kick it up a notch. Okay. Uh, I just got to decide who, to, who I should give it to. John, I mean, you... Yeah, I've only got two cards, and I'm running... I don't have enough lands to do things, multiple things. I mean, you could give it to me just because you love me so much, and I haven't That's, got anything. That to is do. the worst I'm, of ideas. <laughs> okay. I am more scared of Orvar than I am of Lord of the Nazgul. Fair enough. And while I love Token, that says something. Yeah. So the choice is actually between John or Brian. I just now would, I think would be a good time to politic. Well, I mean, I it's don't card know. Draw. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have less cards in hand. I mean, I won't attack you for two turns or mess with your board, I guess. I don't have a way to do that currently, but I won't do it. Oh, you might draw it. You know, I'll, I'll take that deal. Okay. All right, cool. Two turns. 
cap two for a silver scrutiny x equals five and i will demonstrate it i'm actually sorry before on your yep. demonstrate i'm gonna count i'm gonna burn my urn to force you to demonstrate it on me yep uh... Does that change the target of a demonstrator? Just add a demonstrate. Yeah, Corey, let's uh, explain that to us. That is quick. going to that is going to redirect and force you to target Thea as your demonstrate. Okay. Uh, sorry, John. Yeah. So. Sorry, if I, John. If I crack this, would I be able to burn her for the damage, or only Chris? Uh, if you crack that, you will you will be able to burn for the damage, but it follows the vile smasher rules of rolling for a random opponent. So you don't necessarily guarantee your hits. Okay. Yeah. So go you ahead. you could hit an innocent bystander, I Brian. I know, Brian. right? As I was thinking, I'm like, here it comes. Uh, <laughs> Am I, I drawing five? Uh, yeah. Yep, drawing five. Cool. Yeah, that I makes mean, five is a number, John. If you want to crack that. Yeah, uh, it well, would be seven total, right? Because two plus five, seven. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, nah. I'll I'll, I'll I'll hold it. Let the hate course through your veins. <laughs> Yo, bye. Oh, thanks for gifting the sub. I appreciate you. How's it going, man? Well, Chris, did you draw anything good? Uh, nothing like really good, but. Oh, that, that was a fun one for later, but not quite yet. Uh, trying to figure out if I should set, try and set myself up for later, or if I should have some fun. I mean, set yourself up, because John is John is pretty menacing over there in every sense of the word. Okay, only in the sense that I have creatures with menace. I'm not actually menacing. <laughs> well, that was the joke, but yeah, it always jokes are always more funnier when they're explained. So if I do that, to be fair, Thea did nullify the deal, so John can kick attack you <laughs> yeah but he's not he's not the problem currently i know i'm just kidding i'm i'm, I'm always the taylor that taylor swift song I'm, I'm seriously i'm seriously thinking about what i gotta do i need to get some card drop i'll pay it playing island as my land for turn tap five for an inexorable tide enchantment whenever i cast a spell proliferate oh unfortunately yeah. right now the only thing that triggers off that is the sprite dragon because it's a non-creature spell That's okay. i don't make a bird because that's instant and sorcery, and Mizzix only triggers on instant and sorceries. It's a big ass dragon. It's just a little sprite dragon. It's only, it's only about yay big. <laughs> oh dang! I'm sorry to hear that. Ooh, that's rough. He gifted us up and went straight to ad break. That's lame. I mean, nobody heard that. I set myself up so well. Yeah, oh, it's alright. It's alright. We'll uh, after the ad ends, we'll uh, we'll let you repeat. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not showing that we're in an ad, so I don't know. Oh, maybe 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 they get shown. Maybe. If I'm gonna throw my, myself under the bus, I want people to see it. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to discard the hand size at this point. So, so can I get some rules clarification? Uh, for the urn, you have to demonstrate the spell for it to be forced to demo, right? No, you can force the demonstration. So if, for example, if he had cast something juicy that you wanted to d have demonstrated you could force that so that kind of makes counter spells awful then right yeah more or less okay well, no I'm, unless I, you I, can convince the counter spell the counter the counter spell you know you go down that that rabbit hole of mono well, blue the, fighting i mean the only i guess the only person with one left is chris right yeah the only one with what left uh, the one with the uh, force the oh the uh, card yeah the force to demonstrate. All right, uh, do you you passing right? You're just cleaning up. Yeah, I'm passing. I, I'm discarding a smite the deathless, arcane signet, spectral searchlight, command beacon, and a field of ruin. Nice. All right. And I am tapped out for mana. I will draw for turn. Oh man, That's, these tap lands they get me every time. I'll play dark slick shores. Um. Alright. I am not in a great spot. I'll just pass the turn. Cool. My swamps. I will pull a a Mystic Sanctuary for my land for turn. Um, it enters the battlefield tapped unless it can, I control three or more islands, which I do. And when it enters the battlefield untapped, I may put target instant or sorcery card from my graveyard on top of my library. So I will choose Cerulean Wisps. Then I will tap one two three four 
I will cast a Vesuvan Duplomancy. So that's basically four bar, except it targets only uh, cre single artifacts and single creatures. I create a token that's a copy of that artifact or creature, except it's not legendary. Uh, then I will tap one, two, three, and cast a Commander Sphere. And then I will swing Storm Chaser Drake at you, Brian. All right. Mm -hmm. In response to the attack deck, uh, we'll go around. Anyone, any responses? I'm tapped out and I'm here. All right, I'm going to tap two. I'm going to go for the throat, targeting the thing in the air that keeps bullying my friend Brian. <laughs> now, Brian. Okay. Do you want to demonstrate with me? And if you promise not to target any of my things. Uh... Was just a uh, destroy target non artifact creature. Yes. Yeah, sure. Sure. So uh, I'll demonstrate with Brian. Um, I... So, Brian, what are you targeting? What are legal, tar like, does anything have hex proof right now besides the thing with the lightning greaves? Yeah, I'm just, uh, oh, yeah, well, music. If, if I cast a spell, all my stuff will have hex proof from Veilstone Amulet or mm -hmm. Shroud, I guess. I don't really know. It's one of the two. Yeah, it's uh, hex proof. Veilstone Amulet will give all my stuff hexproof because I cast a spell. Alright, so... Alright, so I guess the giant dragon. So you're also targeting... Oh, you're targeting the sprite dragon? Yeah. Okay, so... If he didn't, I haven't even swung him at anybody. He's just for defense. Yeah. Hmm. I guess my second target would be... I guess I would I would attempt to get your commander, or Orvar, but I know you're going to cast something. I just want to yeah in response so in response to the declaration of both targets i'm going to cast shadow rift targeting the storm chaser drake so it gains shadow until the end of turn and i draw a card that will trigger veilstone amulet um regardless of whether since i cast a spell creatures now have hex proof so even if, and then i will make a copy of the storm chaser drake and draw two cards if that's not countered. I I don't have a response. I will create a wraith token, and everyone will lose a life. I heard nothing that saves my dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't. Well, so you, I draw. lose two life, right? No, In no, it, no. It doesn't have. That's the uh, infernal grasp. No, but I lose two life because the dragon hit me. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, talking out of turn. Uh, so I don't lose anything. Okay. So oh, then my where are dragon. Where we in? I'm sorry. We were, we were at my. Oh, and then the Suvin Duplomancy triggers, so I will make another copy of storm chaser drake and that also would trigger for trait doctoring as well sorry oh yeah okay so we're still in that i'm sorry so yeah. combat you took the two Brian? yeah mm -hmm. cool so that will trigger trait doctoring i will target my storm chaser drake so i will make a copy with orbar a copy with duplomancy i'm just gonna these are like i'm just gonna do that and then that um and then uh i will draw a card from storm chaser drake being the target of a spell and then what do i want to do um then i will go ahead and pass the turn i will discard two islands and i will go ahead and pass okay and i have one two three four five six seven copies of storm chaser drake i'm just gonna put them underneath it to help my board look a little more on point i'm gonna play an island for turn i'm going to tap these two to make two blue and a red and then i need one more because blue spells cost one less to play docent of perfection it's a five four flying Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1-1 one, one blue human on the battlefield uh, token, and then if you control three or more wizards, transform Dokken of Perfection. Ah, well, you finally got a flyer. There goes my free attack. Yeah. Yeah. Get nice. that damn stupid thing out of here. Well, even though you have 50 of them. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> my one flyer can't do too much. I will tap on a really catapult and deal one damage to each of you. Yeah. Sure, sure. Down 29. And I will pass turn. Cool. Untap. Up you drop turn. Tap four, two being blue. For a Talran Sky Summoner. Whenever I cast an instant of sorcery, I make a two-two Drake with flying. 
a good card. It's a good card. I guess I'll go with the island of my land for turn. So I'll go ahead and cap one for a little bit of draw for everybody if they want it. Oh. Nice. But they might not want it. Explosion of Riches. Draw a card, then each other player may draw a card. Whenever a card is drawn this way, Explosion of Riches deals five damage to target opponent chosen at random from among your opponents. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll Cast trigger. Yeah, sure, I'll draw. Yeah, I'll draw. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Also draw a card. Um, okay, there'll be four instances of five damage randomly. Four we'll instances with... of five, how? Because. For each card drawn, everybody drew a card. Oh, got it. But they go they go at random, so I was gonna sign numbers like one, my opponents. So one, two for John, three, four for Thea, and five, six for Brian. Oh, please, please, please. Let's see what we get. So I get. Uh, I take ten. Ten for John and ten for Thea. Well, oh, geez. Brian, Brian's unscathed. <laughs> that is surprising. Yeah, I got a twenty-three. You get flip rate trigger from that. Didn't, didn't get a cast trigger for Mizzix, though, because it was already too many experience counters. Uh, let's see. You know the damage really you could have done if you would have demonstrated that? That would have been crazy. I can't demonstrate with myself. You could have dim you could have chosen someone to demonstrate, then you would have got a copy, and then someone else would have had a copy. It could have been crazy. It could have been, been crazy. It could have ended the game, almost. Yeah, but it's too late now. <laughs> All right. Anything else I want to do, then? I don't think so. I think I'll go ahead and uh, pass there. Alrighty. I'll untap and draw. Sure. I'll tap three for Nazgul. Yeah. So ring tempts me again. Second tempting of the ring. Um, they all get another plus one plus one counter. As well as the one that. Actually, they get two. They have two triggers of it now. Oh, no. So two. Okay, cool. And um, I guess I'll just, might as well, I'll tap three for Inherited Envelope. When it enters the battlefield, uh, the ring tempts me again. We take a damage though, right? Because you made a token? I did not make a token. I cast oh, that's right, you did. Yeah, I cast the yeah, Nazgul. No. So I'll get two more instances of the Nazgul triggers. So they'll get two more plus one plus one counters. Five, okay, cool. So now it's a nine, eight. All right, so we've got some big things, right? Yeah, you do. Big things are happening. Um, This one, where is my rules card for this ring thing? So I know I get to draw and discard, and if it's blocked, you sacrifice anything blocking it after damage. Um, and it can't be blocked by creature with more than six power. I don't think that's important anymore. Um, yeah, I was going to say. I, think <laughs> so I, don't think, I don't think that's relevant. I will send the Nazgul to get some triggers, though. I'm going to send it at... Uh, okay. Yeah, you got a six... Seven Death Toucher coming your way. Attack trigger, I'll draw one and discard. Cool. So in response to the declaration of attack, I'll tap one. I'll cast a twisted image targeted targeting the Augur of Bolas. So that will trigger the Suvan Duplomancy and Orbar. So I'll make two more copies of Augur Bolas. Uh, and I will also draw a card. So I'll stack the trigger so that the augurs happen. Well actually, yeah, I'll stack the trigger so the augurs happen first and then I'll draw. So I look at the six cards. I'll put an Irenicus's Vile Duplication into my hand, and mm. these two on the bottom. Then I will do it again. All my stuff has Hexproof from the Veilstone Amulet. Uh, I will put a Shimmering Mirage into my hand. These two on the bottom. It's a 6 7, you said? Yes. It's all my stuff has Hexproof. Yeah, he can be chopped at this point. Just, I just wanted the draw trigger. Yeah, no, no, I figured as much. I'm just going to chump it with one of the uh, uh, Augur Bolasses. One of the uh, After that, um, I have no further actions. I'll pass the turn. Cool. I'm tapped. So everyone has flyers now, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Upkeep. Upkeep. Do you have anything on my upkeep? I do not. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I will draw. And I will play a snow-covered island for my land for turn. All right, so let's see what I have. So, Chris, you have a flyer, yeah? Yeah, I've got a 2-2 two -two Drake and four 1-1 one -one Bird. 
And Brian, you have the docent, and then you still have your race, right? Yeah, I have, I have a nine, a eight, and a two, three flyer. Got it. Okay, I will play a Chromox. I'm gonna exile the Irenicus's Bile Duplication uh, imprinted on it. I will tap for two. Uh, I'm gonna cast a Shimmering Mirage, targeting one of my, uh, targeting the tap. Targeting one of my islands. Uh, I'm gonna change it to a. <laughs> Sorry, what? Hang on. What does Shimmering Mirage do? Uh, target land becomes the basic land type of your choice until the end of turn, and I draw a card. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna make this island into a forest, and I will make a copy with Orbar and draw a card. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. A ridiculous complicated end state. Uh, I'm gonna cast clock spinning with buyback targeting my storm chaser Drake. In response, I'm gonna tap two and uh, cast Gatter Ray, counter target artifact. To oh, never mind. Wait, that wasn't a creature spell. Uh, so sorry, I will then, sorry, foundry uh, for three, two blue to do ice out counter target spell. Uh, in response to that. It? Yeah, you could demonstrate uh, it. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't doesn't matter too much. Well, but before anything happens, I have a bunch of cast triggers. So I'm going to untap Unruly Catapult. You're each going to take two damage. I'm going to make a 1-1 wizard. Then I have three wizards, so I'm going to flip the doctor into a final iteration. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. So it's a 6-5 flyer. Wizards I control get plus two, plus one, and have flying. And whenever I cast an instant sorcerer spell, make another, make a one one human. And then, uh, so that's, oh, and I get an experience counter. And then go ahead, you can respond. So well, you're you going to demonstrate that? Right? Like, that way I, I can counter this, uh, target the same spell in case she comes up with another counter. Extra insurance. Yeah, but I don't feel that's fair because I didn't know when I cast it that she was going to counter it. So I wouldn't have, there wouldn't have been a reason to have someone else have a counter spell. Well, I, I mean, I'm, not going to counter it necessarily you'll get it how much mana do you have open me i have two colors open cool then i'm going to tap one two three four i'm going to flash out a vencer shaper savant and i'm going to bounce your counter spell back to your hand okay Let's see you'll still you'll still get it <laughs> and so clock spinning triggers so i'll make two more copies of storm chaser drake so it's back to my hand i draw a card did I? Yeah, I played my land for a turn, and even if I didn't, that's fine at this point. I think you played a snow-covered island, I think. Yeah, and even if I didn't at this point, it's like, <laughs> not <laughs> yeah, worth like trying to remember what I did. Copied forest and stuff, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, um, then I guess what I'll do, you still have your flyer, right, Brian? I have two flyers now. Which ones? Final iteration, the six five, and then my one one wizard now is a flyer with plus two plus one, so it's a three two with flying wizard. Um, cool. So I'm gonna tap a blue, and I'm gonna cast Cerulean Wisps, um, targeting the Storm Chaser Drake. So I'll make two more copies of Storm Chaser Drake. Uh, I will draw two cards and. Then I will go to combat. Brian, I'm swinging a 2-1 at you, but before blocks are declared, I'm going to tap one blue and I'm gonna cast a Dizzy spell targeting my Venser. So if that goes through, Dizzy spell will give Venser minus three minus O oh until the end of turn. That will trigger both my Orbar and my Vesuvian Duplomancy, so I'll make two copies of the Venser, and I will bounce both your flyers, Brian. And then you will take two. Mm -hmm. That will trigger the Trade Doctor, and I'll target the Storm Chaser Drake, so I'll make two more copies of Storm Chaser Drake, and draw a card. And then after that, I will go ahead and pass my turn. At your end step, I'm going to tap on Ruly Catapult and hit you all for one. Down 26. Untap, upkeep, draw. God dang it. Stop giving me those. I need actual cards. Uh, play an island for turn. Oh, wait, that. Okay, I forgot. It does other things. 
That'll work. Uh, we'll nice. tap one, two, and three blue. Wait a second. Okay. First, I'm going to tap and really catapult, hitting you all for one. Again? Yeah, but on my turn now. Then I will tap three blue to play Archmage Charm. Uh, so cast trigger, this untaps. You're each going to take two damage. Hold on. Yeah. yeah, two damage. But then in response to that, I will cast a Fierce Guardianship targeting the Archmage Charm. Okay. Um, okay. I'll have... Oh, Chris, you could force the demonstrate of the Archmage Charm. It's a pretty good one, right? This what does Archmage Charm do? Uh, it's, it can counter target spell, target player draws two cards, which is what I was going to do. And then it can gain control of target non-land permanent with a mana value of one or less. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, before I counter it, actually declare what you're picking, because you would have had to have done that before I had the ability to counter it. And that will also affect the demonstrate. Okay, so I'm, I'm choosing target player draws two cards. And then you each took a damage and I got an experience counter. Mm -hmm. so now Brian, you can would you like to demonstrate that spell? Yeah, I I'm could, not going to count. I would like to draw cards if you don't if you don't mind. So that way you get four cards, I only get two. Yeah, and you got like fifth giant ass creatures. I don't like that idea. What, they're not. Have they came at you since they got giant? That's true, but <laughs> one turn, no attackies. Uh, all right, I'll demonstrate it. Okay, so, so okay, so I also pick the draw two. So is there responses? No, sorry. Then I'm, if it's just the draw two, I'm not yeah, gonna count. I will draw two. All right, so then I'll draw four. You're welcome, John. Thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not seeing any of my card draw this game. It must be in this part of the deck, right down here. So I, I appreciate you hooking me up and not. Oh, I didn't hook you up. You. <laughs> What's that? You're hanging in pretty well, I will say. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. All my, all my good stuff must be done. All right. So I'm tapping two red and two more to play Urbrask, uh, a four-four mm. first strike. Whenever I cast instant sorcery, it deals one damage to target opponent, and I add one red mana, and I can pay a red to exile it, then return to the battlefield uh, under its owner's control, activate only as a sorcery, and only if you've cast three or more instants or sorceries this turn. Okay, so in response to that, I'm going to cast a cryptic command, choosing the modes, counter target spell on the Urbrask, and um, tap Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna choose the modes. Counter target spell and dry card. Okay. So I'm countering the Urbrask. Okay. So in response to that then, I'm tapping this these for two blue mana and one floating to ice out counter target spell. Uh I'm gonna fierce guardianship the ice out. Okay. Well I still cast it, so uncast, you're each gonna take two damage. Yeah. Okay. Down twenty one. Yeah, I'm down 15. Uh, and then I'm gonna, I, uh, I'm gonna tap on really catapult so you each take a damage. Yeah. Down 20. 14. I can't be mad at you, Brian. It's not targeted. Yeah. <laughs> like it's I'm trying to help you, then you're hitting me, but it's you're hitting everybody, so. That's what the deck is supposed to do. All that kind of actually it's supposed to have a couple more creatures that like like make more tokens. Fingers. Unfortunately, that is all I can do. I will pass turn. Well, 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 plane bloggers. Oh, we come to another little junction in the road. <laughs> All right. well, you is know, 2024 20, is uh, a voting year in the U.S., so I think we have another vote here. But instead of doing it secretly, we're going to do a little uh, majority rules, and if there's a tie, I will let Dice decide. Okay. Your options, would you like to remind or would you like to rewind? We don't get any clues about what these do, right? The clues are in the names. Sure. I will start. I'll pick Remind. I'm picking Rewind. Because I, I feel like that's going to be on tap lands. <laughs> I'm going to... We don't that's want true. That. We don't want that. You do not want her to be able I to tap all say, her fucking uh, lands. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, well, the first one. What was it again? Remind. remind. Yes. Yeah, I'll Remind. Remind. That's Thank three Remind. Three you know, one of the favorite joys of every commander player is to remind their opponents what it is that their commander and their deck does. 
So you're gonna have the opportunity now to create a token copy, a non-legendary token copy of one of your opponent's commanders. So they can constantly remind you what the text is on it while it sits on your battlefield. Oh shit, all right, well, I guess I kind of know. I want a flying Nazgul to block things. Oh yeah, you want <laughs> the Nazgul? Lord figured, of Nazgul. I yeah. figured Ovar, Orvar would probably be the right choice here. That's a lot to keep track of, though. Hey, if I can do it, anyone can. I can do it. That means, but I don't have a lot of spells that target my own things. Yeah. I guess I'll I just, just I'll get Mizzix to maybe discount my stuff. I'm going to get the uh, Lord of the Nazgul. All right. Oh, we're right on the correct side. Has anyone else already chosen, or? I think so. I think you got yeah, I believe so. Mizzix. Double Mizzix. Triple Mizzix on the board now. Yeah, but your spells are basically free except for the colored pips anyway, so... Yeah, yeah but my X spells just got twice as big. True. Terrifying. Where are you? <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. No, no, I'll keep the Nazful. It'll just give me more blockers. And I'm at 11 life, so I'm definitely very scared, so... All right. So, Fantastic. cap. Upkeep draw. I really wish I could have... Copied my own commander, that would have been sick. <laughs> That's what I was hoping. I was like, ooh. Instant or sorcery. It'd be nice if I drew some of those. Uh thanks for the gifted stuff there, Brian. I appreciate you. Island as my land for turn. Pay two for a sorcerer's class. When it comes in, I draw two cards and discard two cards. But nice. cast trigger first. Just proliferate, that's it. I guess I'll just put have to proliferate one of those. And that's it. For that part. Okay. All right, is this where you're going to drop this massive X spell on us, bud? Uh, I kind of got to draw it first. I mean, I'm rooting for you. Do it. Yeah, do it. Okay, draw two, discard two. Okay, I will actually discard the Fairy's Age of Insight and the Nesting Grounds. Oh, that's, Ooh. that's a good draw. Well, you have to think if he's discarding to Fairy's Age of Insight, what else has he got? Right. Yeah, <laughs> true. That's a good Then I'll... Pay two more to level this up to level two. What does level two do? Creatures that control have tap at a blue or red sentence only to cast instant sorcery spells or gain a class level. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The last level, if I upgrade it to it, is whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, that deal that spell deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of instant sorcery spells you've cast this turn. How many cards do you have in your hand? I'm five. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. Gotta figure out sequencing. Give me a minute. Yep. So I have some I have box spinning, so I can copy my sensor and bounce things. If I do that, do I get like a turn of immunity from you, John? Because notably I haven't done anything to you pretty much all game. I mean, sure. I don't I just you know, I just want I just want to draw good things. That's all. That's all I wanna do. So I just if I, as long as someone's willing to chump block my little Nazgul guy. Yeah, you, you can chump at that. If, if I get rid of the class, you can swing your Nazgul at me and I'll chump. And also, I'm going to be burning my clocks in it. So, that, get rid yeah. of that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That works. Okay, I will tap one, cast Prologue to Freesis, and I would like to demonstrate it. Okay. Who would you like to demonstrate it with? I will demonstrate it with you, John. Oh, okay. So, so I just... each opponent gets a poison counter and draw, and then you draw a card. Okay, so, so in response to the cast of Prologue to Phyresis, I'm going to tap one. I'm going to cast Clock, depending on Venser. Does that go through? I have no response. I have no response for it. So, Orvar and Duplomancy will trigger. I'll make two copies of Venser. What do we think in terms of bouncing? The two Prologues or the Sorcerer class? And Well, yeah, I guess... For sure the sorcerer class, because that's going to snowball way out of control. And we're like near the end state. And I, I guess the thing that would proliferate, right? I'm going to bounce the other, I'm going to bounce one of your mizics. Oh, wait, actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to bounce inexorable tide. Good, good call. Okay, you can build just... your yes. I'll respond. With out of bounds, and I don't need the assist. One blue counter target spell. Mm. Okay. Okay. So. So Venser is still copied because it was still. You're doing it in response to me. Sorry. What are you doing it in response to? 
I already cast a spell and everyone said no response. I had to let you pick target. Oh, Didn't okay. I? Got, it. got it. Okay, so yeah. Before so I can respond? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that resolves, so my stuff stays? No, vents are still, I already chose. It, if you're doing this when I picked the target for my spell, I've already picked the target. So that would still trigger Duplomancy and Orbar. So what, there was no point in me countering it then? Appears. Well, yeah, that's why I was confused because everyone said there were no responses. I didn't so say I, that I didn't have a response. I was waiting for you to pick targets. So I, I, I don't think it matters because it's the cast still targeted it, right? So yeah. So I don't think countering it would stop the ability from triggering if that's what you're trying to do. Okay. Yeah. 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 So these were these are being bounced. Yeah, the Mizzix and the Inexorable Tide. Or it's not the Mizzix, I'm sorry. The Sorcerer class and the Inexorable Tide. Okay. Because that is how we lose. You were not lying about poison counters and proliferation there. Yes, okay. So, 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 so now the prologue oh. will resolve, correct? Yeah, so, so we, so I, me and Brian get three poison counters. And I will get two, and Chris will get one. And we'll get one. And then you draw a card, and I draw two. And you cast one spell, so sorcerer class will still deal us all one damage. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't classed up. It wasn't on level three. It was only on level two. Oh, okay. Well, then, I whatever. I'm still gonna bounce it because yeah, all that extra mana. <laughs> no way, no. I, I, sorry, I'm sorry if I confused you. I was only explaining what level three did. Oh, sorry. I thought you ticked it up to level three. That's why. But even still, having all that extra mana in that in, in this economy, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I also make a wraith, right? When I cast clock spinning. Yes, you'd create a three-three with menace. Cool. I'm gonna just. Those two are the Nazgul and the wraith. Then, well, I'm not sure how many creatures are out on the on the board. Actually, I, we might have to count. Uh, I mean, I have like almost thirty. So if it's Blasphemous Act, you're probably. Oh no, it's not Blasphemous Act. If you got almost thirty, then. Uh, Hold on. Why I, I'm gonna have to just decide on things. Eight. I do not like the sound of that. Nine. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So yeah, almost 30. Yeah, I've got I've got five. So 30 with us and then 39 looks like. Okay. Oh, plus two. Thank you to help on this. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, don't worry. I'm not, nobody, uh, nothing I'm doing is losing. I don't have any board wipes right now. Okay. So I'm just like trying to find a way to survive at the moment. Well, you've got a lot of blockers. I mean, yeah, but how many creatures does she have? I have twenty-five. Lot. Most of them, and like thirteen of them, are two-one flyers. But I'm not probably going to swing at you, Chris. To be honest with you, so I'm more worried about Brian, honestly, than I am you, just because of my life total and the damage. So oh, and more the pains. than likely, I'm probably not going to swing at you. Yeah, I was surprised why you weren't swinging those birds as they were getting bigger and bigger, or the dragons anyway. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to sort of just amass advantage to move towards the end game, but now that we're kind of there, I'm definitely going to start. I just, mm. I tend not to be a combat math kind of player, so, yeah. uh, you know, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to, like, drag anything out or anything. But no, I didn't mean that. I, I was surprised. I, I mean, saw how many I had. Yeah, once you had like five or more, I was like, wow, I wonder why you're not sending them all at me. Yeah, definitely have enough to end the game. All right, what you got there, bud? I'll pay one and steady progress. Proliferate and draw a card. Assuming. Can you demonstrate it targeting me? And then that way you get three more proliferate? Or, and what if. I am, what if going, you I am going to demonstrate it, but I'm. What if you demonstrate it targeting me and I take my own poison counter up? You want to draw a card that badly? Yes. <laughs> And that means don't let her. <laughs> I mean, that's my compete. So I, where? So you're definitely demonstrating. You're just picking who you're demonstrating with. Right. I mean, I have one mana. I can. I which I have no one mana drops. You can let me draw a card. The high likelihood that I won't. If be you doing demonstrate with me, I will demonstrate with you in my next draw spell. Why is no one demonstrating with me? Cause you're terrifying. You're <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, you use a little. You just a little, ter a little bit terrifying to you. Yeah. No, I know. I'm. I'm. I'm okay. Terrified. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yo, John. All right. So, so what is that? Proliferate and draw. Yep. Right, so I will proliferate all my counters, and I will proliferate everyone else's poison counters. And I'll proliferate everyone's poison except mine. Poison counters twice. Yeah, I'm yep. at six. 
Yep, I'm at six as well. Right. I'm so glad I got rid of that. Thank you for the heads up on that inexorable tide, Brian. We all would have. <laughs> well, that card's a killer in this deck. And now I'll tap one red for X equals 12 twice for Smoke Spirit's aid. Oh this God. one's a little complicated. For each of up to X target creatures, create a red aura enchantment token named Smoke Blessing attached to that creature. Those creatures have, those tokens have enchant creature and when enchanted creature dies, it deals one damage, it's controller, and you create a treasure token. So uh, Brian, uh, sorry, Chris, all my stuff has hex proof because I cast clock spinning on your turn. So if that's aimed at me, you pr might want to save it. I cast clock spinning to copy the venture and with Veilstone amulet, all my stuff gets hex proof. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually going to target all of John's and all of Brian's things, repeating if necessary just so I can get my trigger. Nice, okay, totally fine. Oh. I just wanted to give you the heads up in case you wanted to like humble me a little. Oh, that's 14, you said 14 mana? And then- No, I'm not taking mana, I'm enchanting all your creatures. No, I know, but your X, you're, you cast one red and then X is for 13? No, I, I, X would be uh, 12. Oh, okay, so 13 mana total for the spell. Yes, are you mana draining it? No, I'm, I'm vial smashing it. Okay. All right, so oh quick question. Can we both Vile Smasher this? I don't know why not. For fairness sake, I will say no, oh. because I didn't let you guys both demonstrate. So, But if I Vile Smasher it last in the chain, right? So I get to do it? Is that how that works? You're trying to to double crack tokens to yeah so he cracked his if i crack mine this, in response to his can i steal the since my demonstrate was stolen i could steal the bottle smasher right that's how that works right right you right? know i'm sneaky enough to allow it Ooh, oh, man. i like i like the idea of a big bluffing game all right lords of chaos please 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 let it not see on i me. i made sure it was up the code that i will also uh, i will in response to Brian, I will steal his burning. All right, so so it's random, right? So now we're forcing this to demonstrate. Correct. It is random. No, no, no. I am not forcing a demonstrate. I am uh, vile smashering. So someone will get burned. It's gonna take, it's gonna take thirteen damage to the face. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. So I guess it's just my opponents, right? Not me. Yeah. So it's a random opponent. So one, two, Thea, three, four, Brian, five, six, Chris. It is a two. Theo would take 13 to the face. Yeah. Now, does the Vile Smasher just copy it, or, is, or yeah. does it counter it, too, or what? No. What happens with the... No, it, it just it deals damage to a random opponent equal to the CMC of the spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. So all, yeah. all, the, all Brian and John stuff has a smoke spirit left, uh, smoke left thing on it. So that doesn't, doesn't do anything until it dies, right? Yeah, until the creature dies. Sure. All right. Anything else? Yeah, I guess I'll annotate that somewhere. They're enchanted with smoke. Uh, one mana left and a uh, ton of experience. I will. I really should start swinging at people. I'm not much of a combat player. Just yeah, that was my downfall in the game for sure. Yeah, no, you could, you definitely could have probably won or came really close. At your end step, um, I'm gonna cast. Oh, wait, did he? Oh, I'm sorry. Did he pass? I thought he was passing. Are you? Yeah, passing? I did pass. Okay, cool. And stuff. I'm gonna cast consider, and since I did promise you, even though before all this bull crap, I, I will <laughs> let you demonstrate, um, Chris, because I said I had this in my hand, but with all the mm. rules that got thrown around, right, is look. It's a uh, surveil one and then draw a card. Okay. So I will get another ray. And every, everyone will lose a life. I'll surveil one. I'll draw that one. And I'll surveil one. And I'll draw that one. Those are good cards. Cool, 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 cool. All right. And then I will. Not so fast, John. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because what? we're doing a little spell slinger. And because Thea, unfortunately, is bowed out of the game. She well, I'm dead. One... Yes, yes. But you're going to get one last opportunity to infect or inflict as much harm or help as you'd like on this game. So if you'd like to search your library for your favorite, most salty, most friendly spell, 
you will have the opportunity to allow one of the three remaining contestants <laughs> to cast it for free. But you get to pick the player that gets to cast that spell right now. I have a question. Can the cast include the overload trigger? I'll allow it. Okay, I'm going to get a Cyclonic Rift and just for... Hmm. Who are we bequeathing it to? Yeah, it's going to be overloaded and I think I'm going to bequeath it to the person who has, who I feel like has my heart, which is the Infect in a non-Infect specific color, which I love to see people do. So I'm going to give it to Chris. So you have an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Well, boys, does that resolve John and Brian? I wish you would have waited for me to draw for turn, so I have no response. Yep, I got nothing that can stop a sorcery. Or whatever it is, instantly. Well, that would not trigger the thing, I guess. So are you going to cast it, Chris? Yeah, I'll cast it. Well, unfortunately. I am kind of okay with all of those giant ass creatures going away. Yeah. I root for the underdog, Chris. Yeah. Don't disappoint the, me. The underdog? I'll try How not is to. he the underdog? Yeah, right? <laughs> Infect them all. It's like either Brian or me. Um, would be the I'd almost wish that was a kill spell. Right. All right. Well, that would set off smoke spirits aid. Now I will draw for turn finally. Interesting. Play a dismal backwater for turn. I'll gain a life. And then, um, okay. Uh, two, three, four Nazgul. Uh, it will get a counter. I am maxed out on the ring, so when it deals combat damage, it was it three or four life? One of the two. Um, tap two for an arcane signet. Arcane signet. And I'm gonna tap three again. Oh. So I'll trigger two more times on the Nazgul, so this will go up to three, that will go up to two, and that is it. I'll pass the turn. All right. I'm rooting for you, Chris. Oh, I yeah, feel like he's got it. Uh, I'm actually going, I'm not going to do combat damage. I'm going to try and win this through Infect. Yeah, that's probably pretty close. Uh, command Tower for turn. I meant Dang it. to not need to discard to hand size. Uh, I'm going to, because steal the guild pack, I'm going to tap a red and a blue. Cast uh, Mizzix. Did you recast those? Oh, that's yeah, right. right. Shoot. I forgot. All of the flame permanents. Yeah. Yep. Well, shit. Okay, resequence. Well, you I already did something, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. All right, so does that matter then? I'm going to tap yeah, Temple of False Gods and two red to cast. Airborne Flamesmith again, and Electrostatic Field. Well, well, well. If it isn't the repercussions of my actions, or the consequences of my actions. Well, it was a random dice roll. I'm not mad at it. The Lords of Chaos giveth, and the Lords of Chaos taketh away. That's just how the cookie crumbles. I'm <laughs> how the cookie crumbles. Well, I mean, to be Three, fair, four, if you, you would have easily won if you felt so inclined to do combat damage. Yeah, but I feel like it was cooler for me just to show off my deck, honestly. And you know, it's for charity, so it's like winning isn't everything. It already isn't for me, but like, I feel like I got to do cool things with my deck and I'm happy that I'm enabling a strategy to win that I would love to lose to personally if I was still in the game. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to do this before we die. I'm gonna tap two. I'm going to scatter ray. I'm going to counter target artifact creature spell unless the controller pays four. Oh, look, there's no target. It fizzles, but I cast it. Can you cast so, it without? You can't cast it without a legal target. God damn it. Guys can't let me have any freaking fun. What? Sorry. I'm sorry, dude. What? Does he have the enchantment out that, uh, what does it counter? Artifacts or enchantments? Is that what it counters? Artifact it's got to be a spell. Yeah, it counters. There's no other, there's yeah, no other spells in the saying, stack. Like, it's got to be on the stack. Yeah, do you have that stupid enchantment that, like, proliferates when you cast the spell out? Do I? Yeah. Oh, shit. Never mind. It's not on the stack. <laughs> well, I was just saying, like, I didn't know if you had already recast it from your hand after it was bounced. But then it oh, wouldn't be on the stack oh, anymore. What would result? One thing. When all of the creatures get wiped, all of the smoke spirits fall off and they trigger, right? No. If, if they die, right? They have, to, they have to die to trigger. Oh, God. That's why I said I almost wish it was, was a wipe. 
uh, a recast thing. It would hurt my skill, but it would weaken him. But this uh, is fine. I can uh, win by poison. Go ahead, I pass. Take it home, Chris. Take it home. What you got? Silence. Drop the turn. Oh, you only have four. Yeah, I only have four. I got six. I'm gonna die, and then you're gonna. Well, you probably won't win. But... No, I will just <laughs> die after you. Yeah. Well, see, what should happen is he should poison counter and kill me, and then just swing everything at you. And probably win that way. Yeah, that would do. Hey, you tapped out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because like basically all his spells are, all his instants and sorceries are free except for the colored pips. So. Pretty much. Yeah. So. Can you cast six spells plus an exorable tide, Chris? Not yet, but give me a minute. I'm like your number one fan. First, I'm gonna tap three for Gale, Water Deep Prodigy. I've never actually had this card be useful before, but this time it actually might. It says, whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast up to one target spell of the other type from your graveyard. If a spell cast from your graveyard this way would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you can demonstrate all your spells, so you can uh, you can definitely you can definitely get there. I think. Let's put these in order that I would like. Yeah, all right, what you got, man? What we got? What's coming our way? That's a sorcery, so that means I've got to cast an instant to get it. That might be able to do it. Uh, that with the I will pay one blue for Icy Blast. X equals all your creatures. Tap X target creatures. Up to 26 creatures will get tapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, why, not? why not? I don't have a creature with power four or greater, so they don't. They will untap on your untap step if it gets that far. Cool, cool. So, Where's the inexorable tide? I'm doing it without it. Oh, love that. That allows me to cast a spell out of my graveyard. For silver scrutiny for X equals twenty-eight. Uh, what's it do? I'll draw twenty-eight cards. It's fourteen uh -oh. each physics. So draw X cards. Cost reduction twenty-eight. So draw twenty-eight cards. And that goes to the exile now. Oh yeah. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Fireball! Woo! <laughs> out of the way. I have left. Let's see if what I'm looking for is in here. Well, for one, that is. That helps. One thing in particular I'm looking for. Yeah. That's a maybe. If I need to. Yes, it's in here. Thank you. That works. Okay. Let's start. Tap one. The cost reduction for Jessica's will. Seven mana. Well, seven red mana, I should say. Exile three. Oh. Yep. I know, I got cast triggers. Are Nothing you there. Jessica's will? Nah. There is absolutely no need for me to demonstrate from this point on. I guess. Maybe just like for the photo finish spell slinger style. Just like ultimate flash. Oh, this will be this will be good enough. Uh, let's see. A Chaos Warp, Core Prowler, and the Gildas Commons. Land is useless. In exile. Those I'll just put up here for the moment. That made me uh, seven red mana. If I have any instants in here I want to cast. Okay, one blue for a prologue to Phoresis. Sure. Everybody gets the poison counter. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I draw a card. Uh -huh. Then that gets exiled. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything with Gale? That was Gale. Oh, got it. Okay. For so Jessica's will, I cast an instant. Yeah. So I'm going to. The token shouldn't matter. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spend three, more than enough cost reduction, apex of power. Exile the top seven cards until the end of your turn. You may cast spells from among them. If the spell was cast from your hand, add 10 mana of any one color. I'll go ahead and choose blue now. Exile seven more. Okay. Seven. Replicating ring, ghostly flicker, and a bunch of lands. And a fell war stone. Nice. Yeah, good. they can sit over there. Now I do have 10 blue. That allows an instant be cast in the graveyard. Yeah. I'll go ahead and use one blue for another nine to cast the steady progress. Proliferate and draw a card. That's six poison counters. Are you still with us, Ryan? Yep. I'm at eight. Okay. I'm just trying to find an easy way, uh, easier way to do this. You have like a big burn spell or something? Nope. Now I'm, go I'm going to try and take the easy way out on this one. I'll go ahead and spend 
three in the red, went down to one, and two blue. Now Cassie inextricable tied. Trying to find a good setup for the big finish. Okay. Uh -huh. Done the other one red, and two of the blue, going down to five. Uh -huh. Boy, flux channeler. Whenever I cast a non creature spell, proliferate. So any spell I now is going to proliferate twice. Mm -hmm. I would Did like we get to a poison that. counter off of that? Huh? Did we get a poison counter off of that one? No, it's a creature. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, yeah, I saw you would get one from the yeah, actual spell. Okay. Any spell, yeah, you're right. Okay. I'm at nine. And how many are you at? Seven? Yes. Yeah, okay, then two. Cast a spell skite. It is a creature, so it doesn't trigger the flux channeler, but it does. Trigger the next triple tide. Yep. GG, Brian. Yep, I'm a dead. Then I will spend two more blue. Well, uh, hold one oh, second. Oh. I know you're in your train of thought, but with the stack empty before you start uh, spending more of it, okay. Brian, you have the same opportunity. Oh. Search your deck for one spell that you want to show off right now and gift it. However, I'm going to give you a little bit more of a restriction. All right. Because I don't necessarily want you to be the kingmaker here. Right, yeah. You are going to be limited to anything 3 CMC or lower. So no no big rats, I nothing like that. I see how it is. Thea gets to be kingmaker, but not Brian. Oh, no, no. There's one other, there is one other little tidbit to it. Oh. Okay. Well, what's that? Uh, I'll, I'll hold until you... I don't know if I necessarily, I don't know if I necessarily king made John. He, Chris could have done that to us if you hadn't vile smashed me. Regardless, I think. Uh, I don't know. Psych rifting everything is pretty huge. That means I spent the next turn having to rebuild instead of like playing what I had in my hand. Yeah, but if I didn't, if I, I died to the vile smasher, it would have gone to Brian's turn and then Omega's turn, and he would have had the inexorable tide out. So we all would have died the poison anyways you know he could have done you could have given someone else the cyclonic rift. what you got there bud uh three steps ahead because man i'm not looking for my old deck <laughs> oh, so that's the spree it's a counter create a copy yep counter spell create a token copy it's a target artifact or creature control or draw two cards then discard a card and uh, anyway. who would you like to copy or, or target with that i guess to be able to cast john can all right <laughs> So here's the other little tidbit to this. Now, it's not a big finish to a spell slinger game without the most broken, obnoxious spell slinging ability ever. So, John, can you roll me a D6? Sure. And that is going to be your storm count for the now storm that has been attached to that spree. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Six. I got six. Oh, so, wait, what does that mean? Do I get six? So, the counter spell has a storm count of six? For this one spell, yes. But I so have, have to cast six it copies now, of that spell. I have correct. to cast it now, right? So you don't necessarily have six counter spells in your right. pocket. I don't you have, have six. I have six draw twos, discard one, and six create a token copy. Correct. Right. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So it doesn't matter because I can't stop anything that he because I don't have sure. So I'll do the draws first. I'll draw two, discard one, draw two. Doesn't matter. Discard. One, draw two. Uh, I don't have my commander out. Just got one, draw two, go on four, five. I just like the tediousness that I've added six. to this. Yes, yes. Okay. And then I'll create six of the Nazgul, which will trigger the ring tempting me six times. So they will all get exponentially more plus one, plus one counters. So I'll have six untapped uh, death touching <laughs> Nazgul's with. Um, Six, oh, sorry, eight. They're like very big. That's too much. <laughs> it's too much math for me to do. So, um, they're massive. So they'll be six times six because they all see each other. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. They'll be like thirty-eight, thirty-nines. They're very, very big. big. I like your very big terminology. Yeah. All this just to disrupt Chris as he was trying to get stuff done. Yes, I yeah. still don't have a uh, way Chris, to you stop were, Chris from doing anything. Yeah. Also, John. The omniscient rules god allowed me to cast an overloaded psych rift, so... Yeah, I blame... I, d I don't blame you. I blame Corey. It's okay. Yeah. Hashtag no, like... Ryan. <laughs> All right, what? I'm sorry. Really sorry for interrupting your turn, Chris. Please proceed. Oh, that's, that's fine. I'm having a blast. How many poison counters are you at now? I am at eight. 
Eight. Okay. Yes, I think any then, single non-creature cast gets me there. I will. Damn it! Now you're making me want to make it spectacular. No, no. Let's just let's just end the game. It's been almost yeah. two hours. Let's okay. See. <laughs> let's Fine. Get it done. I'll at least try to do it with style. Perfect. Yes, style, but quickly. Yes. I'll take two damage Ooh. for a Tezzeret's gamble. Draw two cards. Proliferate. Proliferate trigger. Proliferate trigger. That is it. GG. Good game. Don't shoot two cards. Oh, no, I have my uh, library in my hand. Oh, I was going to finish it was with the finale of Revelation. Cool. All right. Well. Yeah, I'm not, not going to go through all the cards. Good Thank game, you. everyone. Fun. Let us sign off while I find someone to read. Just reintroduce yourselves. We'll start with Chris. Hello, I'm Omega, also known as Chris. I'm the say Thank you for watching the charity stream. I, I just guessed. I'm not even a content creator. I just love playing Magic and love our community. Perfect. Nice. Next up, we have Brian. Hey, everybody. Brian, the unskilled commander on YouTube and here on Twitch. Uh, give me a follow, subscribe, whatever, all that jazz. If you wouldn't mind, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, John, for having me on. It was really course, fun. Uh, I hope you raise a whole bunch of money this month. Hope it's so. And last and definitely not least, we have Thea. Hi, everyone. Again, thank you for being here. Uh, donate lots of money to the charity. Uh, I love that we are uh, giving back this month. So that's amazing. And I'm so thrilled and honored to be a part of it. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Thea Eski, just my name. Uh, no spaces, no anything. And if you liked what you saw all the shenanigans that ensued from my orbo deck and you want to bring that to a stream near you uh totally feel free and also stay tuned because i'm working on developing a magic the gathering podcast about the stories of the players that play the game and also magic story at large awesome Ooh. yep if you have links for that if any of you guys have any links you'd like to post in the chat feel free to do so now before we start the raid while i sign off here so hey everyone this is john from chaotic commander i produce content on youtube as well as stream here on twitch we are in the just beginning our charity month so all, this month, all proceeds from all revenue sources and content creation are going to Save the Children. Uh, they're a very well-renowned uh, charity. Uh, it's like it's, it's like 80-something percent of every donation goes to the cause, which is a pretty high rate. They're highly rated. Um, we have a fundraiser going on over on Twitter. Uh, every donation gives you an entry into this massive giveaway. We have a Mana Crypt, we have Cavern of Souls, a bunch of Shocklands, um, one of the Modern Horizons 3 precons, and the Secret Lair will all be given away if we can hit some of our goals. So we've got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff given away. Quiver Time has donated a Bolt and a Quiver to the giveaway as well so there's a lot of value there but i did post that in the chat if you guys are interested feel free to check that out but that is going to be it for me i want to thank my guests for playing this game with me i want to thank all you guys for watching and sticking around for the stream it means a lot and i hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and we are going to raid that tcg guy so let's go show him some love in like 10 seconds because that's how <laughs> the raids work. <laughs>